my Crush It Daily Planner. So as I mentioned, I've got four kids. It's awesome and crazy and awesome. Um, I also run a business. I also, uh, you know, run a household, do a whole bunch of stuff. And as you can imagine, there's quite a bit happen that happens behind the scenes. So I developed um, a daily practice and I've been doing this every day for years and it looks very similar to this. So this is my Crush It Daily Planner. It's a practice that we do every day. Uh, it only takes me about five minutes. Amazing templates. We use these. For sure. Awesome, Pamela. I'm glad you've committed to that. So you can uh, you can check in with me with, in two weeks. That's what some of the other groups are doing is uh, letting me know how they go. I'll set you a challenge. Uh, but with this planner, so what it is, I do it every day and um, my clients use it as well and they just start noticing some pretty remarkable stuff happening around them when they actively start pursuing some of these things. So there's a Tony Robbins saying, which is success leaves clues. So regardless of what it is that you are looking to be successful at, if you are really committed to being successful at that particular thing and you start researching the people that are already successful, you'll start to notice a pattern. So they'll have their own secret formula for success, but you will follow some kind of uh, format or blueprint. And if you want to be successful like them, you just start modeling their behavior and then you start developing your own, uh, own success formula, your very own personal one. So this is mine. You can try it on for size, take or leave what it is that you like and what you don't like, but if you're going to do it, I challenge you to try it for two weeks every day. Um, and I'll give you my email at the end, but let me know how you go because so far I've got a hundred percent strike rate on people notice things pretty rapid and awesome stuff happening. So on the right hand side, it's got I'm grateful for. So I practice gratitude every day. Let me know in the chat if you are. Uh, a uh, gratitude practice as well. But uh, what happens when we start practicing gratitude and, you know, particularly when things are rough, it's even more important uh, to have a look for what's good around us. What happens is we've got this thing in our brain called the reticular activation system. Has, or, the RAS, has anyone heard of that? The RAS, let me know in the chat box. And how it works is the things that we start focusing on are the things that we start to notice. So the more that we start practicing gratitude, the more grateful that we become and the more things that we see around us um, that we can be appreciative of, which shifts our mindset. Being practicing gratitude a little more than usual in response to this crazy time. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Yeah, that's cool. I love that you read them back at the end of the year and have a jar. I make my kids put their stuff in a jar too. That's great. Love it, Jess. Uh, so I do gratitude five every day, five um, first thing in the morning. That's usually when I am the most grateful before <laughs> I've had to make 500 wheat picks. Uh, and then underneath that, we've got our top 10. So the top 10 is your BHAGs or your big, every audacious goal. So this is the, the big life stuff. And it's really important when you're writing these 10 that you write them as if they have already happened. Uh, they don't need to have a timeline on them, but they do need to be written as if they are already happened. You don't need to have 10, you might have five, it's up to you. Uh, 2020 is a massive uh, health and wellness, you know, a body, a body year for me. Um, you know, it's the first time I haven't been pregnant or breastfeeding in a very long time. And I've decided that I want to get the fittest and healthiest I can. So one of my top 10 BHAGs that I write down every single day is I am the fittest and healthiest I've ever been at 65 kilos. That's my goal weight. Uh, so every single day when I'm writing that, my reticular activation system starts processing it. And every day I'm looking for healthier and fitter ways that I can get to my goal. That's the way that one works. And then on the left, we've got today, I'm excited about. So at Made For More, one of our key values is joy. So we are continually seeking joy all around us. I'm a big joy seeker. And every day I get excited about something, even if there's nothing on, I'm pretty excited about that as well. Um, of course, today it was getting to present to you guys. Uh, tomorrow it's hanging out with the family and Sunday it'll be having a nice bath. Uh, and then who needs me on my A game? So this is around uh, conditioning and tuning your brain around who it is that you're actually needing to lead. You know, is it someone on your team? Is it someone in your family? Um, you know, who is it 
within your circle of influence or within the people and your community and your family or, or whoever it happens to be, who is it that needs you on your A game? Uh, underneath that, we've got our top priorities. There is only five. Uh, for years and years, I have written to-do lists. I'm a list writer. And off, more often than not, it was taking me longer to write my to-do list than it was to actually get anything done. So I scrapped that and left it to five. And if there's anything outside of the five or um, more than five things on there, I only do the top five uh, because I need to focus on what's important. Uh, on the flip side of that, I also write a to-do list. So it's super easy in this day and age to get all our things done and we're so busy worrying about what we've got to do that we forget to stop and reflect what we've already done. So today's Friday, it's Tada Day. Um, and I actually write down all the things I have achieved. And someone mentioned about celebrating the little stuff. This is celebrating your own personal little stuff. You know, don't wipe the slate clean, take note and, uh, and actually recognize all the awesome stuff you've done each and every week.